food chains and food webs show how energy is transferred through an ecosystem. The arrows in food chains and webs show how energy moves from one organism to the next. So here I see a fish getting eaten by a bird. So I'll draw my arrow from the fish to the bird, showing that energy is being transferred from the fish to the bird as the bird consumes the fish. So energy flows from producers to consumers, but not the other way around. So my arrow will always point away from the producer and towards the consumer. So from the legume to the rabbit, from the tomato plant to the aphid, from the algae to the minnow, and from the kelp to the kelp crab. Food webs show how numerous food chains fit together. So here I have two food chains. The first food chain shows how energy is transferred from algae to the aquatic insect, to a frog, to a fox. My second food chain shows how energy is transferred from grass to a cricket to a vole to the snake. So here we have a food web that includes both of the food chains that we just talked about. Now we can find our food chains by just following a path through the food web. We start with a producer, like our algae, and just follow it through to the aquatic insect, to the frog, to the fox. And we can find our other food chain the same way. I'll start at my producer and just follow it through to the cricket, to the vole, to the snake. But by putting these together into a food web and showing all of the interactions in this ecosystem, I get a better picture of what's going on. Sometimes we discuss energy being transferred directly between two organisms. And if energy is transferred directly between organisms, that means that one of the organisms is consuming the other. And when energy is transferred directly between two organisms, there's always an arrow pointing directly from one to the other. So energy is being transferred directly from the grass to the insects, from the spiders to the birds, from the squirrels to the snakes. In fact, any pair of organisms where you see an arrow pointing from one to the other because one of the organisms is consuming the other is showing that energy is being transferred directly between them. So this question asks, which organisms receive energy transferred directly from producers? So that means that there would be an arrow from producers to these organisms. So the willows and the white spruces are two types of trees. Those are my producers. And I can see that there are arrows pointing directly from the willows and the white spruces to the snowshoe hares. There's also an arrow pointing directly from the white spruces to insect larvae. So the snowshoe hares and the insect larvae are getting energy directly from producers. And this question asks, which organisms receive energy transferred directly from consumers? So the oak tree is my producer, and I can actually see that the insects, the mice, and the squirrel are getting energy directly from producers. They're not eating other consumers. But the skunk is consuming insects, mice, and squirrels. The owl is consuming skunks, mice, and squirrels. And the hawk is consuming skunks, mice, and squirrels. So the skunk, the owl, and the hawk are all getting energy directly from other consumers. So I hope this video has helped you understand how energy flows through a food web a little better. Keep up the great work, and I'll see you next time.